In this question, the resident and light bar ABCD is suspended from four identical wires. Determine the tension each wire caused by the load PS on the figure. Okay, so this is a rod and uh, a force or load is applied here, which is denoted by P. Okay, and so the, these are the four wires, and we have to find the tension in each wire. Okay, so we have to find the tension in each wire. So if you make the free body diagram here, so let's make the free body diagram of this wire uh, of this rod. So we can easily see there are four unknowns, four tension forces like this. Sorry. So there are four tension forces. One is here and uh, one is let's say somewhere here. And one is let's say somewhere here and uh, one is let's say somewhere here. So these are the four tension forces. So that means there are four unknowns. T1, T2, T3, T4 and there is this load p also here like this so there are four unknowns here and four unknowns here and but equations uh, how many equations we have we can have uh, at most two equation we can apply equilibrium in vertical direction so if you are apply equilibrium in vertical direction t1 plus t2 plus t3 plus t4 this is equal to p so this is the equilibrium vertical equilibrium and uh, I can apply a torque equation here also. So torque equation, you can write torque about any point as you like. Okay. So we can write torque equation, let's say about this point also. Okay. If I write torque equation about this point, so these two forces will have zero torque. Okay. So torque equation is T1. This T1 is producing uh, about this point. This is producing anti-clockwise torque. So this is T1 into 2L, T2 into this L okay and t4 t4 into l so just uh, write this 2 t1 t2 and this is t4 so only two equation can be written with the help of equilibrium equations okay so is tarike ke jo structures and this kind of structures we call them as statically indeterminate structures so these are statically indeterminate statically indeterminate structures so what is the meaning of this so meaning of this is statically indeterminate you cannot determine all the unknowns all the forces using the static equilibrium equations so static equilibrium equations will not give you the sufficient number of equations to solve this question okay so these are called statically indeterminate structures or problems so then what we have to do here so in these situations, we have to take deformations into account. Okay, so in these structures, we have to take deformations. So in this, for extra equations, we need to take deformations. Deformations into account. Generally, we don't go into this deformations detail, but in this type of situations, which is statically indeterminate situation, we have to go into this details also of deformations, how the deformations are happening and what kind of deformations I am talking about. So, when we have tensions, aati hai. tensions aati hai. tensions deformations. Ki aati hai. Generally, in our course, we say this is inextensible strings. Generally, we call this as inextensible strings. But inextensible means there is no extension, there is no deformation. If there is no deformation, tension cannot come. Tension is like internal restoring forces in these uh, strings. In elastic, elasticity chapter, we study this. These are like internal restoring forces, and these restoring forces are developed due to deformations. So, whether it is a very small deformation that is a separate issue, but uh, deformations are always there. Okay, deformations are always there in this kind of strings. If deformations hai, then only tension can come. Okay, so tensions are there, it means there are deformations. Hai. Now we have to relate uh, these tensions using the deformation relations. Okay, so we have to use deformation relations here so to get some extra equations. 
now let us make deformations we will assume very small okay so this is our assumption otherwise we cannot write any equation okay stress is equal to y into strain hooke's law is valid only for a small deformation so generally those small deformations we cannot see through our naked eye okay so these deformations are generally unseen we cannot observe that so that's why we say that okay this is inextensible string but now we cannot ignore here and let's uh, do some deformations here suppose this is the horizontal bar okay this bar will be slightly shift like this so all the points almost vertically they will shift okay so almost almost vertically they will shift and uh, we can say that okay so this load is here so uh, near the load tension is generally the more okay so tension this deformation will follow a pattern suppose here the deformation is the minimum and as we go along this direction so deformation let's say increases the strain let's say increases okay because all these strings have different different tensions and these are identical strings and they are having different different tensions since they are having different different tensions so different different strains are there different different deformations are there okay they must have different different strains so that's the logic we can give okay so deformations uh, are following this kind of pattern let's say drawing like this but uh, the rod will not be tilted so much as i have drawn in this diagram okay this is for our visualization better visualization okay so let's say it is deformed like this i am following this uh, distance let's say this is let's say x not and suppose i am drawing a line again from here suppose this angle is let's say theta so points are let's say one point is here at a distance l at a distance again l and this is l then this is l this is l again so we can say that okay so if this is x so this will be 2x and this will be 3x from this similarity we can say because all the distances are equal to l l l here so this will be x and this is 2x and this will be 3x okay so likewise it will go so what is the deformation in this so, x not deformation in this will be x not plus x deformation in this will be x not plus 2x deformation in this will be x not plus 3x okay so it will follow this kind of linear pattern because deformations are very very small so i can say okay so these are following this linear pattern now stress is equal to y into strain okay so let's use this relation stress is equal to y into strain and stress here will be can be written as t tension upon some area of cross section and this is the young's modulus and strain i can say this is delta l by l okay so i can represent uh, this uh, delta l like this this is can be written as tl upon ay so delta l here is x not so i can write this is t1 t1 l upon ay now here it will be x plus x not this will be t2 t2 l upon ay now here it will be 2x plus uh, x not i can write it like this this is t3 l upon ay and uh, here it will be 3x plus x not so it is t4 l divided by ay so i have written all these uh, relations from these relations if you subtract sub, uh, subtract this two so you will say this is t2 minus t1 okay subtract uh, now this two so if you subtract this two this two if you subtract so if you subtract you will get uh, again uh, on on lhs you will get x and here also you will get x after subtracting this two so you will finally get this relation t3 minus t2 and again if you subtract this you will get this relation t4 minus t3 okay so you can say that okay so tension increment in tension from here to here okay increment in tension from here to here because uh, the increment in deformation is the same De increment in deformation is x increment in deformation is equal to x increment in deformation is equal to x so increment in tensions are also same so t2 minus t1 is equal to t3 minus t2 okay t3 minus t2 and t4 minus t3 all these increments incremental tensions are same so this is giving me two relations okay i will equate uh, this and this and this and this i will get two relation from here two relation above so in totality i am getting the four relations as required to solve this problem but uh, you can see solving four simultaneous equation is another is a huge task okay so solving four simultaneous equation so i can make this calculation very easy now how to make this calculation easy because i know that the tensions are increasing by the same amount as i go along because same length i am traveling l length l length l length 
सो आई कैन अज्यूम टेंशन इन अ बेटर वे नाउ ओके आई कैन अज्यूम टेंशन इन अ बेटर वे नाउ आई कैन अज्यूम टेंशन हियर टू बी टी आई कैन अज्यूम टेंशन टू बी टी प्लस डेल्टा टी ओके इट विल बी टी प्लस ट्वाइस डेल्टा टी ओके डेल्टा टी इज द इंक्रीमेंट इन टेंशन एंड दैट इंक्रीमेंट इज सेम ऑल द वे सो टी प्लस थ्री डेल्टा टी ओके सो नाउ दिस विल रिड्यूस अवर वेरिएबल्स ओके सो नाउ आई हैव यूज्ड दिस टू रिलेशंस ओके राइटिंग दिस थिंग इन राइटिंग दिस थिंग आई हैव यूज्ड ऑल दिस रिलेशंस सो आई आई एम लेफ्ट विद दिस टू रिलेशंस एंड टू वेरिएबल्स आर देयर टी एंड डेल्टा टी टू वेरिएबल्स एंड दिस आर टू इक्वेशंस जस्ट पुट ऑल टी वन टी टू टी थ्री टी फोर एंड टी वन टी टू टी फोर हीयर यू विल गेट द रिलेशंस ओके सो इफ यू पुट दिस रिलेशंस in this t1 t2 t3 t4 in this two relations finally i am going to write the answer now okay so what the answer you will get you will get uh, answers uh, t1 to be equal to this is p by 10 okay t2 you will get uh, 2p by 10 okay so it will finally become p by 5 t3 you will get uh, 3p by 10 okay so p by 10 p by 10 is the increment and t4 you will get it is 4p by 10 Okay so these are the final answers